Hey guys, Lush Payman, uh, Steve Jobs, not the real Steve Jobs, the song, and then Lupe Fiasco. Let's get to it. So yeah, track. <coughs> I apologize, man. It was uh, last minute. So, we ask for this in advance. SLR. Yeah. Say they lean on me. Like me Niggas try to dream on me. Tell that nigga he can lean on me. Fall asleep and have a dream on me, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, it takes niggas weeks. They need a comfort zone and some beats. Lolly gaggers to poly matters to go over responses. Get all layered and technical in their content. Press record. Then I bring the receipts. Lambda, lambda, lambda. I think that shit was sweet. I wish I could just kiss you on it. Jesus, already he's in it, bro. Remember Eminem, how he was like, Rihanna just yeah. hit me on a text. Yeah. Like he's already responding he's with responding shit. He's responding with specific shit. He's already responding with specific shit. He's saying, uh, get all layered and technical in their content. Like, yeah. He's, the, oh my God, that, that's actually kind of cool because he, uh, he's saying they all get layered. Like he's saying there's a group of MCs out there who just get too technical and like get layered and technical with their content. Low key, he's kind of being implicit the way Royce was, where he's not naming Royce specifically, mm. but he's like, some people do Ooh, this. this is I, don't, I don't know who. <laughs> <laughs> a sub, a sub, bro, <laughs> yeah. that's hilarious. Also, the beat choice, yeah. also a chill yeah. beat, low key though. It's more, ch it's more live. It, it does than, have the chimes Yeah, to but it, I think, bro. I feel like he picked a like chill beat on purpose, just so it's not like, <laughs> fuck! And it's like, you know. Sponsors, get all layered and technical in their content. Press record. Then I bring the receipts. Lambda, lambda, lambda. I think that shit was sweet. I wish I could just kiss, kiss you on the cheek. Nerds have their hands in everything. Gangsters won't even touch the police. Won't you tell your niggas get that? Take some of them cool bullies and go and get some of my shit back. The problem is that you ain't never had no impact. Kit Kats and shit chat and syntax don't make up for how much you sit back. I think that nigga scared. He never syntax is like language rules, like grammar, grammatically like correcting things. I think it's like the ru the rules of language, kind of. So he's saying like your problem, like talking to Royce now. Your problem is you never had no impact. Kit Kats, because have a break, have a Kit Kat. Like you're just taking a break. Kit Kat and chit chat and syntax won't make up for how much you sit back. Like as in you don't have no impact. Like but that little rhyme, like the internal rhyme there. The problem is that you ain't never had no impact. Kit Kats and shit chat and syntax don't make up for how much you sit back. I think that nigga scared. He never leave heaven, cause he already did. Damn, nigga, are you insane? What's the point in knowing how to point and aim? If the niggas you gon' bang look exactly the same, that ain't motherfucking cool. That's a motherfucking shame. This ain't no motherfucking game. That's why I think you are a motherfucking lame. We both wear glasses. The difference is I was in school thinking it was cool. You was thinking of skipping classes. Listening to your track record, I can see you were skipping classics. I did it on my first one and delivered to the masses. Your songs are immemorable. Your verses are impen- This is at Royce Yeah, Stefano. yeah. Like, this, this is a diss track. This is at Royce he, he just told him, like, I can tell by listening to your music, you didn't actually listen to, like, the legends. Because you would know better than mm. <laughs> Like, that's kind of hard. That, oof, ah. How do you feel about the uh, black on black crime thing right there? He's like, I it's think a, that was a line towards Lupe's son. Like, you know how he's like, I'll kill your son. Basically. Yeah. He's like, bro, we're all, we yeah. look the same. Like, Not why? only is he you, my son, but he, he's a black kid. You're gonna really kill a black kid, bro. This ain't no fucking game. Like, mm -hmm. yo, this is serious, man. I think Lupe's taking it a little more seriously as well, but. You know what? Already some shit that like, you can like leave this song and like remember some lines. I already, we, you guys don't know this, but we did this obviously back to back in this car, still wearing the same shirt. He's still wearing the same shirt. I already forgot every line of Royce's song, bro. <laughs> that every single such line. a good point, actually. Listening to your track record, I can see you were skipping classics. I did it on my first one and delivered to the masses. Your songs are immemorable. Your verses are impenetrable. Oh! I ain't even listen to that diss record. Yeah. I don't even fuck with you because your interviews. I ain't even trip when you call me a bitch. I was like, look at Salem calling me a witch. Look at how they made them. Look how much they gave them. Look at all the assists. Nigga, if it wasn't for Premier, you wouldn't be. If it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, nigga, I got a dozen more. 
Would you know Royce if it wasn't for Eminem? <laughs> to be fair, no. If it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, yeah. I got a hundred more exactly. for you. Like, like you wouldn't if it was DJ Premier, Eminem, like all these people. Like, if, if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't you be wouldn't New York. Shit. That's fucking crazy. But Lupe, he's out here, you know. Yeah. Lupe on his own. Lupe, he just. Oh, that was a line. That's line right here. I, I was, didn't even trip when you called me a bitch. I was like, look at Salem calling me a witch. <laughs> Salem is Salem? a cat. He just called Royce a pussy. But also, like, the Salem witch trials. Were, Salem were just, witch like, trials. Exactly. So he, he's saying, like, why did Royce just jump on me, like, for no reason? Like, why are you just, like, kill him, burn him yeah, like a witch? exactly. That's yeah. fucking fire. Look how much they gave him. Look at all the assists. Nigga, if it wasn't for Premier, you wouldn't be. If it wasn't yeah. for... He, 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 it's, it's like I'm picturing him in the booth, and he's like, bitch, if it wasn't for Premier, yeah, he's, like, yelling. Like, 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 swallowing him. <laughs> <laughs> just halfway down his... <laughs> Is that like the <laughs> Lupe, we're gonna need a new Yo, mic. <laughs> you can keep that one. <laughs> Take that one. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Uh, Jesus. That's so funny. If it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, nigga, I got a dozen more. Hope, think I'm hope. Nas, think I'm Nas. That's the trick. You ain't gotta think when niggas already think you are. Mwah. Oh, your story crooked and your book too. Pass the dumb shit, but you will shoot somebody's son holding sun ships. I wish they would have left Biz here and fucking took you. And all your hype Mar Ms. Mar Ms. Yeah, Ms. like he's saying, like, I wish they I wish you left. Died. Yeah. You came after my son, so now I wish that yeah. Biz Marquee was still here and you weren't there. Because yeah. Biz Marquee wouldn't do that shit. I'm oh. not gonna lie, that's fucking hard. Like, your story crooked and your book too. Pass the dumb shit. Book of Ryan it was his fucking album oh, with Caterpillar was on it. Absolutely, yeah. Nas thinks I'm Nas. Like, all these legends, like, the, 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 you know how you're like, oh, he's like the Hitler. Like, they just say, like, what the fuck? <laughs> let me, let me explain. Is there another person? <laughs> let me, let me explain the bridge I connected there. When you're thinking of someone evil, you just kind of jump to, like, oh, okay. he's like the next Hitler. Like, that's the example you use. Okay. So he's saying, when people are like, oh, he's the next Nas, Nas himself is saying, I'm Nas. These people that people use as, like, a, re like a reference to someone else like oh he's like so good he's like the next Eminem they think that I'm that person four. if it wasn't for if it wasn't for if it wasn't for if it wasn't if one, it wouldn't be two. one two three if it wasn't for oh if it wasn't for if it wasn't for if it wasn't for I got a hundred more Chips, I wish they would have left biz here and fucking took you and all your hyper technical hypotheticals in life I've never met with you from a distance I accepted you wow. from the podcast I've been kind of skeptical. This ain't our first class. This is just one of the several. Room. I ain't trying to bash, but it was like you was off your schedule. You was throwing more than jabs. I was like, this nigga's incredible. We had to fucking edit you. I don't know what vegan Detroit vegetable Dr. Sebi diet infected you to think that we shared the same metrics or somehow I was less than you and I was the type of nigga that you could get really disrespectful to. I ain't never lectured you. I get energetic and joke. In real talk, nigga, I ain't never disrespected you. I'ma punch you in your fucking face. And we all think it's silly. I'm thinking like, won't this bitch nigga clean up his fucking city? I mean, you got all of the clout. You know how to bring all the niggas out. You can walk the walk. I mean, we seen you walk all over your house. But me and Mickey is geeks because you got some heat. Like, I didn't go to the closet and put guns all over the couch. Your mental health hotline, I think that shit is grown up. But you're the very last nigga that should be picking that phone up. I split your purse to get immersed. My God, bro. I guess Royce created like he a has hot a thing, like yeah, a hotline. But he's saying like I like, feel that's like, cool thing to do. But oh. you you have no reason to be like someone who needs to pick up that like what is no, it? No, no, no. He need like if someone was to call, you're the last person that anybody should like talk to to like feel better about their mental oh, health. Oh shit! That's what he said. Like imagine you're like, the like that should be hi Royce the five nine hotline like mental oh, health. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Never mind. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm cured. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> Lupe uh, said some shit about you, bro. Yeah. Is this Royce, bro? Oh, he burned you, bro. <laughs> Yo, that, that's we we passed a lot of shit here, and you and your hyper technical hype hypotheticals, like, yeah. cause he did do that. And he he just used it to like. Uh, hyper technical, hyper -technical. How do you feel about him? Because you know how M people were dissing MGK because he was like, why are you complimenting him one line, not doing it on this? This one's different though, I feel. Because he's saying like, here's the shit I, I always respected about you, but you came after me, so now I have to like, that's the kind of the vibe that I'm getting. fair. So it, I, I'm kind of like, I think people let him slide with like the, the yo man, I, I never disrespect you. Like you came after me. Like I'm the innocent True. one. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Like, there I is a difference though. between like, fuck you, but I love you. Yeah. <laughs> but versus like, Yo, I loved you, man. What the fuck? Fuck you. <laughs> 100%. Wow. Yeah, because yeah, MGK came for the kill. 
It's like, yeah. then why are you complimenting him? Exactly. But he's like, bro, what, we're on the same side. What why happened? Are you... Now what I have happened? to. Guess I gotta come, come out with this now. <laughs> One of several. I guess they've been fighting on on social media a lot, but even from a distance, I accepted you because they mm. Instagram Live. I guess right. they had like a podcast together. They had they had a podcast together. <clears throat> the oh. Lupe Royce podcast. I don't know if that's gonna happen anymore. Uh, well, I mean, you know what he said. I. Ex- I accepted. Wait, is he saying I accepted you from the podcast or yeah, from yeah. the podcast? Is when I started being kind of skeptical. I've been kind of step- skeptical. This wasn't our first first clash. It's just one of se- so I guess oh, they fought okay. before. So I guess this has been a long time coming. So it didn't just like they didn't just maybe, uh, maybe. come out of it, uh, nowhere. But you know, there was one <laughs> dude who um, came after us because we said that Eminem won that beef. But then he was oh, like, he oh, but the- yeah, absolutely, okay. absolutely. I'll say it now again. Like he won. Period. Anyway, um, I agree. He said that MGK won because Eminem took too long in the rules of hip hop battle. You have a three day limit. Did this come out three days after Royce's did? This came out, let me see. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago. So it would have been within a couple days of each other. So already, fuck that argument. I ain't trying to bash, but I, I was like, were you off your schedule, like, period? Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't catch that one. Yeah, yeah, I didn't catch yeah, like, that off your st- I th- what, what is it? Is that time of the month? Oh. Like, why, why are you coming at me like that? Because he's a pussy, Salem. Ah, oh, that's good, that's good. The mental health hotline, I think that shit is grown up, but you're the very last nigga that should be picking that phone up. Mm. I spit your verse to get immersed inside my enemy and to remind you they gotta go through you just to get to me. Subtle Woo! subordination, perpetual sidekick nigga, sort of a station that you used to. So you ain't gotta get all extremely too personal on your albums when you're not surrounded by bigger artists to fucking boost you. Nigga, you called me. Ouch. <clears throat> Do you, do you see what I was excited about, bro? <laughs> bro, there's two lines here back to back. Where was it? I spit your verse to get immersed in my enemy. Like, I, I'm reading your lyrics so I can get in your head, right? Like, I can kind of get in my enemy's head. And to remind you, I got to go through you just to get to me. Yeah. But, but like, oh, you got to go through him to get to, like, him. But he's saying, like, that but through the lyrics. Like, I had to go through you. Through you. Through, uh. through what you wrote. He's calling Royce. Like, you're just a perpetual sidekick, like, to people. Yeah. Oh, that's, like, where you're used to. That's your comfort zone. And you ain't got to uh, get all extremely too personal on your albums. What is he not surrounded by bigger artists tra- to fucking boost you? Um... <laughs> <laughs> that is a good line because you know what, bro? To fucking boost you. Like, if I was writing a diss track towards Royce to Five Nine, I feel like I would have gone ar- somewhere, some around. route yeah, like that. Yeah, you're hitting like him. He, he, man, like, he's just a sidekick. But also, bro, like we're talking technical, even like immersed in, in my enemy, just to get to me. What you're used to to fucking boost you. That's where you're used to. Fucking rhymes. I guess there was not as much as I yeah. thought there was. Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Royce kind of took the technical Ro- side. Royce there. did he, take he to technical, yeah. That shit. I spit your verse to get immersed inside my enemy and to remind you they got to go through you just to get to me. Subtle subordination, perpetual sidekick nigga, sort of a station that you used to. So you ain't got to get all extremely too personal on your albums when you're not surrounded by bigger artists to fucking boost you. Uh. Nigga, you called me. I didn't recruit you oh. with no regrets. Take it as a test. You said, Lupe, you gotta have some grace. Not be so haphazardly to put the truth all in their face. Now that I think about it, that's kind of half a half. If a nigga asked you for the strap, why would you keep it in a stash? If you ran the world, we get defeated in a flash. You really gonna be the boss, can't keep secrets from the staff. I learned that in the streets. Nigga sweeping trash, keeping my city clean while you was talking about beating a nigga's ass. That shit is whack. Long live backpack rap. Fuck these monster drinking new age conscious thinking fabric con today. Gangster tomorrow. One foot in they sorrow, another foot in the trap. Killers who easily triggered by a little nigga's attacks who had the audacity to ask rappers to rap. Facts. Mickey, oh, it's not done, hey, bro. Hey, hey, listen, I'm good. Nigga, check this out. Look, hey. In seven minutes he did it. If he knew how to freestyle, he could have rented heaven for seven minutes and been done what needed to be done by the second sentence. All this extra innings may come across as master, but my impression's apprentice. Your penmanship has the fingerprints of a gimmick and affection and the intimacy of impressions of that nigga. Whoa! Whoa! Bro, Whoa. Well, hold up, hold up. But my impression's apprentice, your penmanship has the fingerprints of a gimmick, bro? What the fuck? Did you hear that? Who comes up with that shit? You know who comes up with that shit? Royce the five nine comes up with that shit. Why didn't he? Like I'm so upset. That's nuts. I know Royce can bring it. I think 
Lupe Fiasco is pretty good with the pen. Like, he's pretty dope. That's it, a great line. And affection and the intimacy of impressions of that that you're friends with. Is that Eminem? Is he, is he low-key, like, talking about Eminem? It, it must be. But my impressions of apprenticeship, penmanship, has the fingerprints of a gimmick and affection and the intimacy of impressions of that nigga you friends with. I ain't gotta say it to say it. I can't even blame you. The nigga's one of my favorites. Fuck that, back to my status All icy, talk spicy like the house of a traitor Inwardly successful when outwardly I've made it Clearly, if I was a regular rapper you wouldn't even come near me This nigga think he's Siri, that answer to your queries What's Siri to Steve Jobs? A button to Tahiri, I'm excessively cheery Promote my nigga Siri Did you fuck, do you get the, the fucking name of the song now bro? He's like he's calling himself Steve Jobs. Like yeah. Lupe's calling he that's why the fucking song name is called Steve Jobs. What unfucking believe I what actually Siri don't know what lambda like when did he ever say lambda? It's just called Silence of the Lambda, I don't know. There's a point here where it just got like crazy. Like it clearly if I was a regular la rapper you wouldn't come near me. So mm -mm. clearly you have some sort of like you think I'm like dope. Yeah, some exactly. Way, shape, or form because you know your action you don't need to say it. Your yeah. actions show exactly. what you think of me. Because if I was nobody you wouldn't have said yeah. shit. Anyways, to, oh, this nigga think he's Siri to answer to your, your queries. queries. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what's Siri to Steve Jobs? A button to Tahiri. I know the Siri to Steve Jobs is like, bro, I created you. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, bro. That's so dope. Joe Budden, remember like the, the closest thing he's had to hit to smack you. Oh. Bitches. So what's but what's the abuser to the victim? Like your your Siri, your Tahiri. Tahiri's the one that button. I, I, I guess so. Yeah. Who? What's Siri to Steve Jobs? What's button to Tahiri? Oh. That's fucking hard, bro. This nigga think he's Siri. That answer to your queries. What's Siri to Steve Jobs? A button to Tahiri. I'm excessively cheery. Promote my nigga theories. What's an alien to a Pentagon report? I see your brother trying to chilly. That's what he's supposed to do. And everybody that's fucking close to you, close to support, push you forth. And calm your black ass down, cause they ain't put you in the source. You chose violence. I just wanna know when you gonna respond to Osiris and go to EO Dub, battling from the judge. Instead of hitting smack and trying to entertain the thugs, come and fuck with us, nerds. Pride in being a nerd, bro. I also think Lupe has strong pen game. Like, it, oh. I didn't know he had this. Having heard both, who wins? It's a if it's a beef competition, it's 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 gotta be Lupe. Like that's kind of no question. I, literally, <laughs> when I went in with no bias, I'll say I was disappointed in Royce's. I expected fast lane Royce. I was incredibly impressed with. Yeah, Lupe's, I'm, like, I'm impressed too. From like he chose everything from like the beat being like relatively close in like the feel of the like of of Royce's beat yeah. as well, his song, and it's like he just destroyed it, bro. I think technically though, technically Royce beat him. Yeah, pretty he, bad. He, he had. Uh, uh, here's the thing, though. Here's what I I think Lupe had better on him. His beat was better. It was more lively, and uh, there it, it, like it, it, there was ear candy. Like he kept her ears like wanting to listen. Whereas Royce's at a certain point, it was just kind of confusing. word vomit. Yeah, it was just word vomit. Let me tell you a little bit of uh, story. The uh, internet has turned on Royce a bit. Oh, they're like, cause cause Royce, I kind of lost respect for him a little bit because. This has been a long time coming though. Don't you remember that shit that he's fucking said about like uh, Lupe? No, Royce the Five Nine. He said some shit on uh, Instagram or something about like about uh, whitewashed black people. And I personally took offense. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, honestly, uh, through this YouTube channel, through this YouTube channel journey, like, I, even, like, with the people will comment and be like, Royce is a little bit kind of weird. Yeah. Like, some, yeah. Like some people will comment. I'm kind of starting to see that. He posted, like, a fucking... I, it, was, it was almost childish in a way, but it was kind of like a post towards Lupe being like, haha, you fucking, like, loser. I'll see if I can find it. But people, all in the comments, everyone's like, Royce, just rap. Like, just go on the <laughs> mic and just rap. Like, what are you yeah, doing? True. What are you doing? What like, happened to a wise man, man? A I'm, wise I'm, man knows a wise man knows nothing. I'm disappointed. <laughs> One of the funniest ones was uh, somebody commented and was like, it's, it's not too late to delete this. <laughs> like, his his post. He's like, bro, keep your... Not everybody has seen this yet. <laughs> yeah. Take it down before it's too late. Here it is. Lou, coming through with the 10-pound press and curl routine. You better work it, bitch. Three snaps in a circle. This was six days ago, so after this came out. Oh, shit. And l look at all of the... Uh, well, some of thousand comments all being like that. Are you gonna rap, though? <laughs> Must be a re uh, response song coming. Gonna be fire after 30 days of oh, writing. Oh. Royce took his time. Keep Listen, up. you guys know we're not Royce haters. Like, we like no, Royce. Really. But objectively, like, 
going in with no bias. It's a diss track. Was it a good song? Was Royce's song, like, do you think it was a good song? I thought, like, I'm gonna be honest, man, I wouldn't listen to it. Oh! Me neither. <laughs> You had me, me like, <laughs> what? No. I was like, I don't know, man. There's a point where Royce is a little, a little much, man. It was just like, just love and more. Like it didn't seem like he was saying anything. I, I, it's crazy to, uh, to me that Royce to five nine is not like the one. A, no, 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 not a nerd. Oh, yeah, with all he, yeah, with, he every, with everything he knows and like just, just the stuff he posts on like Instagram and stuff. It just kind of like, he seems nerdy. 